and welcome to Spark the Genius with my special guest, Lo La Laura. Laura. And is it? Oh, I, I don't want to say your last name. Gonçalves. 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 All right, very cool. Well, this is this is how it's spelled if you want to see. And she is a uh, well, she's a filmmaker, and she's got her film screening in like half an hour here at Toronto International Film Festival. So we thought. Why not film in front of CN Tower, which is very iconic? And uh, yeah, I just met her on Instagram, and her art is beautiful. Um, to Toronto. Thank you. And uh, what is your film about? My film is an animated documentary. It's my story to get that I to my family about my uncle and my friend Thomas of his life uh, from the war uh, in growing up during the dictatorship in Portugal and uh, going to the war and then coming back and going uh, immigrated to France illegally like a lot of other people did. It's a short story about memories that we're all sharing. Um, and then Garbage Man because he, he worked as a garbage man in It's called the Garbage France. Man. And uh, he brought a lot of things that people would throw away there. He would bring to Portugal, <laughs> which is a country that didn't have so much things really? compared to France. He would collect like things from the garbage and then take it over to Portugal. Like yes, people wow. in France had a lot of things. And yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I've seen people. You know, I don't know if they leave a chair out. I'll take it and like, oh, I've got a free chair kind of thing. But to take it all the way to another country, I never. Yeah, that would be a lot of work. It. Yeah. Yeah. So we would bring it. So my memories of him is when he would come back to Portugal with a van full of stuff. Oh, can you drive from Portugal to France? Yes. Okay, so he's, just, close. he's loading up his van and be like, yeah. look, we got lots of fun stuff. Yeah. That's so cool. A lot of garbage. A lot of garbage, exactly. But they say one man's garbage is another man's treasure or something yes. like that. That's beautiful. Is this your first animated film or have you done more? Yes, I've done. It's my first professional solo animated documentary, but I did a previous one with Alexandra Hamid, um, Drop by Drop, which was also in Cannes in 2017. In Cannes? In, uh, in Cannes in Can as well, but uh, yeah. it was here in Tiff, sorry. Oh, no, that's all right. <laughs> Canada, yes. Canada, yes, that's yeah. what I meant. <laughs> no. How does that uh, compare? I don't, is, how does Cannes different from Tiff? Um, it's in another country. Yes, that is yes. exactly good answer. <laughs> it's probably a bit warmer there, but uh, it's pretty nice here. So that's that's. Is this uh, you've been to Toronto before? I did. I came okay. to in 2017. Okay. So. Yeah, it was really good. And then yeah, and then they haven't done much since COVID. So it's exciting to have you back. Thank you. And uh, and you're screening it with other films. So you haven't seen the other films that it's going to be with today? Yes, I've seen the, uh, the oh, yeah. second projection. Okay. Um, so I've seen already the whole, the whole uh, program. The lineup is really beautiful. Um, oh, wow. Yes, come and see short films at TIFF. They're super beautiful. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of people from all over the, the world. Right. So it's really interesting. So it's like, it's like a buffet. You get to see yeah. lots of little different things. Yeah. And, and, one thing that's so amazing and what uh, like what would your goal be at TIFF like are you promoting your movie are you networking are you making connections I'm just meeting people drinking yeah that's what I, I'm here for that's fantastic yes. and what do you do like are you a full-time filmmaker is that your thing or what, what do you do yeah, in Portugal? So in Portugal we have a cooperative of uh, filmmakers it's called BAP Animation Studio and uh, we are all filmmakers there and we work on each other's films so when I'm directing, there's someone working uh, in, from the, the cooperative. They work in this in my film, and then I'll go and work for oh my other gosh. people's films. So it's really nice, and that's so. Yeah, fun. It's a family. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, you know, you're an illustrator and stuff. And you were like, oh, I like your drawings. Like you saw them on Instagram and stuff. And I haven't had time to draw you, and I probably don't have time to uh you know during this because you've got to get your screening in a few minutes but i'll I be can... here until sunday okay so i will be drawing you yes. at a future time and um actually i gave away my drawings this morning but here's here's a couple just to get your eye you know your uh animation thing so this is a girl i drew esther exposito for the movie pearl uh oh no this is the movie venus um and what do you think of my, my drawing style? I like, super love it. Oh, really? Yes, Thank I you. do. Okay, good. I Just love the, um, the, the, the lettering as well. Yeah, I do that kind of thing, but I've always but liked... It's very nice for, for quick drawing. Yeah, I sit there going, oh, who's on the red carpet? Oh, there's a, who's the director, whatever. It's like, here's the director kind of thing. And I didn't get, they didn't actually do a red carpet. She just came out and said hi. It looks hi. like Doug. 
Doug. Yes. Is that the that's yeah? Doug. Yeah, that's right. Isn't he like a little cartoon character? Yes. Yes. Well, there you go, <laughs> Doug. Or maybe he looks like me a bit, kind of thing. So yeah, so we, you will get your drawing before the end of the week, and uh, yeah, it's funny that I, I spend all this time drawing these people and don't even give it to them, but um, that's kind of my my shtick. But a British guy yesterday was saying maybe don't do the drawings. Like it's you know, it, it, I don't know people are expecting more just an interview, but I like to have my own little style. So whatever, and your art is so beautiful. Like I just love this. Would you say that you're primarily like a filmmaker, or do you? Do you or you're like an illustrator, like do you like drawing? Like which is your favorite thing to do? I I really see things moving, so I have a lot of, um, um, I always see my drawings. So yeah. I love to draw also in life, like really quickly. Okay, but so I always, we're a team. Yeah. <laughs> but I like to, I always imagine when I'm te thinking about how to well, story tell something, I right. always think about it in, as a moving picture. Right, so when you're drawing your fish, you're like, oh, how would the fish move through here? What else yeah. would happen kind so of like, thing? How did it get there and how does it go away? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so cool because a lot of, I mean, that's such, sometimes when you see like movie company logos and stuff, like there's the logo, but then somebody designs a thing where, okay, how does it get into the logo and how does the lion roar and how do you get out of it? So you, that's just naturally how you think kind of thing. Yes, it is. That's yes. So yeah. cool. Actually, I'm, I really love illustration and uh, I really admire people that do illustration because you have to condense everything in just one picture about everything that is happening just in one yeah, image yeah. and I always think in a moving yeah yeah you're like I need it. more time I yes. need to show I can't just have everything in one painting kind of yeah. thing so cool well I love it well maybe if we do another interview we can sit there and draw each other we draw a challenge and then see what we each look like kind of thing after you see my film yes let's actually, go, let's we'll go, go watch see the film. film all right <laughs> so, so thanks for watching the interview here I'll take a quick selfie here